Today, we are going to be balancing the equation of NO2 plus H2O, and when they come together, that will yield HNO3 plus NO. I already wrote down our little balancing chart, as well as the elements that I see on both the left and the right sides. So all we have to do is just say how many we're starting with, and then we will start the balancing. Let's start with the left-hand side. For nitrogen, I don't see a subscript. There's only one, so I have one nitrogen. Oxygen, just be careful, guys. I see that I have an oxygen here and here, so I have to add the two together. I have two oxygen plus one oxygen, right? So two plus one is a total of three. You have a total of three oxygen on the left-hand side. And then for the hydrogen, there's a two here, signaling that I have two hydrogens. Going to the right-hand side, for nitrogen, I see I have a nitrogen here and here, so I have to add them together. I have one nitrogen plus one nitrogen, so one plus one is two, so I have two total nitrogens. Oxygen, I have to do the same thing. Oxygen here and here, so there's three oxygen plus one, so three plus one is four. And then for the hydrogen, it's just H right here, there's a subscript one, so that's one. And now we're ready to balancing. Balance the one that's easiest to balance by multiplication. Mm, let's try to balance the hydrogen, right? I see that I have a one here, right? And one times what will get me to two? You always wanna go from the lower number to the higher number. So one times what will get me to two? Yeah, one times two. And the number that you stated is the coefficient in the front of the compound that has that element that you're trying to balance. So I'm gonna put a two here. But whenever you put a coefficient in front of a compound, all of these will have to change, you have to be fair. So I have two hydrogens now, so that's okay. Now for the nitrogen, remember there's nitrogen here and here. There's two nitrogen plus one nitrogen so now you have a total of three. Two plus one is three. So I'm gonna cancel out the two and I'm gonna put a three here and then do the same for the oxygen. Two times three is six plus plus. There was one oxygen here, so one. Six plus one is a total of seven. So now you have a total of seven oxygens on the right side. And now you kind of do it all over again. The hydrogens are balanced. And there's really no easy number I can go from three to seven, so I won't try to balance that, but I can balance the nitrogen. One times what will get me to three? Yeah, one times three. And the number you stated is the coefficient in front of the nitrogen. So in this case, I'm gonna put a three here. But I put a number in front of a compound. I have to play fair. I have three nitrogens now, and now I have to distribute it to the oxygen. Three times two, is six plus oxygen over here, there is one. So six plus one is seven. So now I have seven total oxygen on my left side. But look here, guys, three nitrogen on both sides, seven oxygens, and two hydrogens on both sides. So by balancing one element, you will balance other elements out. Just works out that way, which is great. So the final answer is you have three NO2s plus one H2O yields two HNO3 plus one NO, and that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. And if you wanna help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you so much for that. I look forward to helping you in future lessons and have a great day. Okay, bye-bye.